Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, the honest of the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Fun time is over. What comes next? All right. And um, it stems off this video, all right, from CBS this morning. All right. Uh, it's entitled, As Coronavirus Outbreak Looms, What Should You Do? What should you do now? Us of the spiritual uh, mind, we understand that the flesh profits nothing. So you cannot do nothing within the flesh that's going to save you from death. All right? Like the scriptures say, riches profit not in a day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. So what should you do? All right? Here it is. You got Jake, you know, partying and bullshitting, smoking weed. Um, Like the apostles was going in, in their previous... Uh, Saturday sit down um, Yesterday actually the 29th um, <clears throat> Yesterday the 29th Going into how the juxtaposition Or the contrast between what Esau Is doing to prepare and what Jake is doing To prepare alright And that's of the spiritual mind Alright we're getting closer to the Heavenly Father We're cleaning up our acts And most importantly we're just praying And have asking the Lord to show mercy You know And um that's righteousness, man. What is righteousness? Righteousness, all right? Like the scriptures say in John 5, 1 John 5 and 3, this is the love that you keep, this is the love of the Most High that you keep His commandments and His commandments are not grievous, all right? So righteousness is following Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Changing your ways for the better, all right? Uh, not stop committing adultery, stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, and um, following Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, how do you follow Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? You need a teacher. All right, you need ones that's out there that's serious. That's warning you about the times, man. Um. All right, because right now, if if you're an Israelite, if you're a so-called Black Hispanic and Native American, your pastor is supposed to be telling you what's going on. Your shepherd, the one that's leading you, is supposed to be leading you. Um, you know, towards the way of salvation. And the way of salvation, or the way uh, which is right, all right, the correct way, is um, these scriptures, man. You know, right now, in the churches, your pastor, if you go to church, your pastor is supposed to be speaking about what's going on in the earth. Your pastor is supposed to be relevant, all right? They have so-called prophets in the churches if you prophesy enough peace, obviously there's no peace coming. All right? The coronavirus is here. That's not peaceful, man. People are afraid. You know, people are locking down borders. All right? Foods. All right? There's less food in, in, in places that have been hidden. As far as uh, over there in Italy. All right? Those places that, places that have been hit, people are scared. People are nervous. You know, people are walking around with a mask looking stupid, you know. You know, um, security is a lot tighter. All right. These places that have already been hit, you know, they understand that this, this, this is not time to party, man. As a matter of fact, I believe over there in Japan or China, um, the Olympics were uh, canceled. All right. If I'm not mistaken. All right. But death is coming, man. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. And not the coronavirus hit, what, 49 countries? When you look on the uh, Judge Report, it says that the coronavirus hit. Let's see. This is uh, February 28th, Friday, this past Friday. Coronavirus updates. At least 56 countries with infections, cases soar outside China. All right, because people are continuing to travel with that's going to stop. All right, this is more than 84,000. Let me say a cluster of respiratory illnesses originating in the Chinese province of Hubei in December has health officials on high alert around the world. 
In January, the causative agent of the disease was found to be a novel coronavirus dubbed SARS-CoV-2. It has now infected more than 84,000 people and claimed over 2,800 lives with signs of a slowdown in China by outbreaks of the disease taking hold in Italy, South Korea, and Japan. All right. Uh, skipping down, it says the number of cases and deaths seems to be slowing in mainland China with only 439 new cases and 29 reported deaths coming on February 27th. You know, so imagine how bad it was, man. Which really you can't trust the numbers, but if they're saying it's only 439 new cases, that's still a lot, man. You know, and people travel, they have kids, you know, and um, when you watch this, uh, video they were saying it's not necessarily uh it doesn't necessarily show for like the first two weeks so here it is you're going around you're shaking people's hand touching doors coughing you know you could have it and be spreading around and be a carrier man you know so that's going to lead to what all right that's going to lead to what quarantining now like it says in second edges the 15th chapter because if you don't know where it's at uh you know just stay in your houses and, you know, until further notice. That's what's happening in Japan. They were going into that to where you have certain schools in Japan that's closing down for a month. I think they were saying, you know, because if you can't contain it, all right, if they gonna the government is gonna feel to, that is best to just shut everything down. No movement, and these Americans are sto uh, are spoiled, man. So you know they ain't gonna go for that. All right, so, hey, man, when death comes, what are you going to do? All right, it's going to be to where this coronavirus, when you find out the the, the, the actual devastation of it, it's going to be too late. All right, then it's going to go from partying to straight to straight up, uh, 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 like, it's going to go from partying to straight up um lockdown, man. From happiness to straight up bitterness, man, a bitter life. You know, which really is nothing to live for here anyway, but two-thirds, you know, they, they glory in this place, you know. So it says, at least 56 countries have confirmed infections. Cases in Italy jumped to over 800 on February 28th, while South Korea is reporting over 2,300 infections. Now, from apparently, let me see... It started in December, I believe, and just, what, two months later, it's over 800 cases all around the world. So basically showing you that by the time you, you you find out, you know, that it's in your area, it's going to be too late, man. It's going to be too late. On February 26th, the Washington Post reported the first U.S. case of unknown uh, origin in North Northern California. Which I believe you look it up too. A person just died over there in Seattle. The infected individual did not return from a foreign country and did not have contact with a confirmed case. According to the Post, officials are currently tracing contacts of the residents to find out about potential routes of infection. I'm going to show you too that it, it don't matter that it started in China. All right? Because most people think, well, it just started in China. Like when you watch that show or the movie on Netflix, Bird Box, you know. The, the pregnant woman, uh, I believe that's Sandra Bullock. Um, and um, her sister, I believe, you know, when they was turning on the news, they was, they was, because in that movie, people were uh, hallucinating and causing them to commit um, suicides. But when in the beginning of the movie, she's like, oh, that's just in Russia. We don't have to worry about that, you know? But not too long afterwards, what? It started, it, it began to happen in the U.S., you know? So don't take that for granted. The CDC has warned people in the U.S. to prepare for an outbreak, you know, so it's here already. We are asking the American public to work with us to prepare for the expectation that this is going to be bad, said Nancy Messonnier, director of the CDC's National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases. In a press conference, February 26th, President Donald Trump reiterated the risk to Americans 
uh, remain low. The number one priority from our standpoint is the health and safety of the American people, he said. He noted of the original 15 U.S. cases, one remains in hospitable, in, in a hosp hospital and is pretty sick with 14 others either fully recovered or in recovery. He also announced Vice President Mike Pence will coordinate the response to the virus. And this is, uh, you know, this is deadly, man. It's not only killing, you know, it's not only killing um people, it's killing the economy. All right, which is going to lead to what? People not wanting to, um, well, it's already around the world, which America is um, one of the biggest importers as far as, you know, bringing in trade from other uh, uh, countries to run this place. All right, so when that stops, all right, there's going to be, uh, you know, an inf inflation on the dollar, man. I mean, inflation on goods, man, because when it's less of something, all right, they're gonna charge more for it. It's gonna because it's harder to get. All right, it's, all right. Bigger, the bigger the risk means what? The bigger the reward for them. That's how they think. Like over there in Venezuela. All right, it's less of food. So what? A loaf of bread or, or orange might cost you eight thousand dollars. You know. So what are you gonna do? Most people live paycheck to paycheck. All right. So going back to the scriptures, right? It says, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which prophesies of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh have truly sent him. All right. So our words are coming to pass, man. All right. This is uh, Habakkuk 2. And it's crazy because still I can't. You still got people walking past like nothing's going on, man. I'll, hey, man. Psh, the water Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's all I can say for, for blessing me and blessing us Akin with this word. Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And yet how will answer me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. All right. So when you see it, when you see what's going on in the news, all right, you're supposed to run. You're supposed to make haste. All right. Let's get that word run, actually. Habakkuk 2 and 2. That word run, all right. Uh, damn. I don't even know how to pronounce that. So, okay. All right, but it says to run swiftly, to bring or move quickly, hurry, to drive away from, cause to run away. All right. So, that he may run, that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You know, so it will not tarry. All right, it's surely going to come to a city near you, man. And then what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? All right. Tell you what you should do. All right, this is Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding. And it also says in Isaiah 30, all right, that you should not trust. Um, let me see, Isaiah 31. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with their covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down into Egypt, because that's most people, that's, that's their, uh, that's the way they think. You know, most people, that's the way they think. Oh, I'm going to go down to FEMA. I'm going to go to the CVS to get my flu shot because it's bad. And if I don't have it, I'm done. Meanwhile, the ones that don't have it, all right, are actually better than the ones that do. Because if you know anything about those flu shots, the warped mind of Esau, he actually gives you the flu so your body can so-called be used to uh, receiving, so your body can fight it off 
and now it can recognize when you had a flu. Meanwhile, it tears down your immune system. All right? So they know what they're doing, man. All right? Therefore, show the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed and the trust in the shadow of each. Uh, Slack, I'll start back at 30 and 2. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Okay. So yeah, how about Shim Yahweh Shah's the way, man? So it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. The Lord's name is Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yahweh meaning he is, meaning he can, he, all of this is his, man. And lean not unto thy own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own in thy own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Okay? So with that, Lord willing, you are can edify. Shalom to the elect.